Hi, I'm Sky Mercedes with Forever Sweet Bakery. Uh, today we're going to, my wife Frances is the, is the owner of Forever Sweet Bakery. Uh, we work together. Uh, she's been baking for a number of years um, and it's her recipe. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate how to make a cake pop and, and during this time we're at Valentine's time. So we're going to show you how to make a, a heart shaped cake pop. So what we do is we start off by baking um, cake and we put it in a, in a sheet type form and then we uh, put it inside a bowl and then we mix it up you know with our hands and everything it's mixed with some icing and um, and our special recipe that we just don't disclose that but um, that's what gives it the great flavor you know you get in there and you just scoop it up you know when we do the balls we roll them up like this of course this is a little bit too big this is like a meatball size but uh, this one here is for the heart shape we've got the pliers and this is our our heart shape uh, pliers if you want to call them that we could probably get one of these at Michael's Michael's Arts and Craft this is really neat because it shapes it just the perfect size and you just take it out pops right out put it on the tray and then we go around and we put the the sticks inside of the cake pop whether it's heart shape or round and then we will uh, dip the cake pop into the icing that goes around it and we let that set for a minute this is like melted candy so what we do is we buy the candy and then we melt it and then we dip it in it has to be at the right temperature sometimes we we do royal icing or sometimes we'll use fondant and put it on the cake pop we have uh, chocolate red velvet we've got some pink ones and these make great gifts so if you need something for Valentine's Day, this is something easy and quick and they taste really good and they're just bite size.